Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're noticing your Xbox STAD executable is experiencing high CPU or memory usage on your Windows computer. So this could be an annoying issue and you want to go ahead and get it resolved. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend doing would be to right click on the taskbar and select the task manager. Select the startup tab. And if you see Xbox in here, I recommend just going and right clicking on it and selecting disabled, or you can select the disabled button down here. So again, Xbox, just turn it off from starting up when your computer turns on. If you see that in this listing here, close out of here. Another thing we can try would be to open up the start menu and type in Xbox versus apps. Go ahead and left click on the little arrow next to it, and then select versus app settings. Scroll down and where it says reset if the app isn't working right, reset it, the app data will be deleted. Make sure you have your Xbox games backed up somewhere before you do this and then select the reset button. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device including your preferences and sign in details. Like I said, make sure you backed up your games guys and then go ahead and select reset. And once that's done, you can close out of here. Open up the start menu, type in this PC. Go ahead and open that up, should be the best result. And then right click on your hard drive where your game is installed, or in most cases should be the same drive where Windows is installed. You see a little Windows icon above the hard drive. Go ahead and right click on that and select properties. Select the tools tab and then select error checking. This option will check the drive for file system errors and go ahead and select check. Select scan drive. And once it's done, select close, select OK, close out of here, open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best result, check them back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan L. Scan L should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, guys, go ahead and close out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.